Hello guys, what is up? Zach Wolf here, and today I am reviewing the PS2. That's the whole purpose of this video. Don't ask. But yeah, I just wanted to do this video real quick because I'm gonna tell you guys the f what you should buy and what you shouldn't buy. Ahem, <clears throat> looking at you. And yeah, um, so yeah, I'm gonna be reviewing the most iconic one. No, it's not this one, but it is this. This piece of shit right here. This slim. The slim piece of shit. So, why do I call it a piece of shit? Well, I'll tell you the flaws later. Right now, my review on the slim, I mean, it's nice. I mean, it's light, it's small. I like how it looks. It's got a really cool design on it. Don't get me wrong. And it's also got an easy flap thing right there that goes up and down like a, I don't know, like a bird as you could say. It kind of looks like a book too if you think about it. This thing looks like a book. But yeah, maybe they maybe that's how they designed it. Oh my god. I just fucking figured it out. But yeah, um Yeah. So basically you got your usual stuff. You got the infrared right there, you got the two USB ports, you got controller ports, uh memory card ports, eject, power, PlayStation logo, all that shit. And in the back it's the same thing, you got network, digital uh, AV, and you also got the, uh, AC adapter. So, yeah, and you also got the vent right there, and you can also see the heat sinks in there, too. So, instead of unplugging my new fat PS2, oh, yeah, this one's broken, by the way, guys. Uh, this one doesn't show video, but it does open the tray and turn on and stuff, but this one doesn't show video. I got that off of eBay, so I shouldn't have known better. But, yeah, I got a new one over there. That one actually works. I do use that one currently. So instead of unplugging that one and stuff, I'm just going to review the P PS2 Fat like this with my other one. So instead of unplugging it and then later on I have to plug it back in and shit, eh, you know the difference. Anyways, so what are the flaws with this PS2 Slim? I mean, yeah, it is smaller, surprisingly smaller. Look at that. Holy shit, that thing's smaller than the Fat. But yeah, uh, the flaws. Well, I'm going to tell you this right now, guys. You see this game? This game has been, oh shit, I can't get open it with my, there we go. <clears throat> so I'm going to get the disc out and show you guys what's going to happen in here. You see that? That is perfect circle scratch. That is perfect circle scratches all the way around through this. That's caused by this piece of shit right here. This son of a bitch caused this. And I'll show you what does. This little thing. This little wire that they keep leaving loose in these systems. It's fucking bullshit. So, yeah. So, unless if you want to get your disc scratched, I don't think I recommend you getting the slim. I honestly prefer the fat. That's the reason why I got the fat over there. Because it works out a lot better. I like it. But anyways, I do like the slim. I mean, it's not bad. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's not a bad design looking, but it fucking sucks. I even, I had like two or four PS2s in the past, PS2 Slims, and they all broke on me. All of them broke on me. Most of them didn't start, didn't really spin the disc anymore, and some of them didn't even power on anymore. I was like, I fucking give up on this shit. So, I got another one a year later for Christmas, and this shit started acting up on me. So I'm just like, you know what, and also this thing heats up so much. These slims heat up so much, they start sounding like a fucking jet engine. I kid you not. These things suck. So, okay. Enough reviewing that piece of shit. Fuck you. Okay, let's get on to the plug-in. Now, the new plug-in was supposed to be this. A power brick? Seriously? How the fuck are you going to have this system as a portable thing as well if you got this big-ass thing carrying around? If you're carrying around this big-ass thing that was like a size of a... I don't know, this was like, this was like a size of a fucking 80s phone. It's ridiculous. And they have this plug-in where they'd be like, it's supposed to be a universal plug-in. How the fuck is this a universal? Sony, you're stupid. You're stupid sometimes. I love you, Sony, but sometimes you have stupid ideas. But anyways, uh, also, you scratched the fucking discs. And they blamed it all on this. They blamed it on this system. No. They do not blame it on this system. You blame it on this system. This system sucks. So, yeah. So, basically, 
What do I, and it is, and don't worry, and actually, if you think it uses different AV cables, no, it actually doesn't. It actually uses the same AV cable as every single one, and where the hell did I put it? I have no clue. Uh, it uses every single AV, oh, okay, here it is. See? It uses this. It uses this that goes into, like, the PS3, PS2 Fat, and also the Slim. The Slim also uses this. So that's also nice. But, like I said, Power Brick. Now, I wonder who they're ripping off. That's right, Microsoft. I'm looking at you. But yeah, like I said, why? Why? Who would want to carry a big ass brick like this? Like, usually, if I would have to go down in the living room, I would have to carry this big ass thing downstairs, and I would actually drop it sometimes. It it, it was horrible. It was a horrible experience. And then I would have to go through this with my CDs getting scratched and ruined. So. I had to get replacements for that, and that's why, move this piece of shit, and that's why I got this, the PS2 Fat. Now, I'm going to start reviewing this one. I got, a little, I got a lot of good things about this. I got a lot of good things to say about this system. One thing, this logo, this logo is fucking beautiful. Look at this. This is like, this is like a fucking masterpiece. Why couldn't they use that on the Slim? This is a masterpiece right here. You got the green, you got the aqua green, you got the blue, you got the aqua green, you got the blue going on. That looks nice. You got the PlayStation 2 right there. This thing is nice. Like, and you also got the back here, you got like the digital output, you got the AV multi out, you got the regular AV out. You know, there's so many things. And you also got, and this one doesn't have a power brick. This thing's actually got the uh, the power supply built into this. So, thank you, Sony, for coming up with such a good idea for this for the fat system. You just came up with this idea to make a brick for the slim. Why would you do that? I don't get you. And also with this system, you can actually put a hard drive into it too, if you wanted to, if you actually had a hard drive. Uh, and also, it has a connector back here. I can actually get it right now. Let me get it from on top here. Uh, ah, here it is. And for this one, you would also have to get one of these if you would have to if you wanted to play online. If you wanted to play online with people, you would have to get one of these for the fat system, because uh, oh, excuse me, because uh, if you didn't have one of these for the fat system at the time, you could not be able to play online if you didn't have one of these, because they're not built in like the slim. These ones are not built in like the slim is. So, if you didn't have one of these, you'd be SOL. And also, if you guys didn't know, back then, we would have to use wired shit. We had to use wired shit. This was before wireless. I'm pretty sure. So, back in the day, we would have to struggle to get one of these just to play online. But, it's pretty cool, though. Like, I do like that idea. Like, if you don't want to play online, you can just unplug the damn thing and just throw it somewhere. It was like, what? <laughs> But yeah, this is a pretty nice system. I have a lot of good things to say about this. Now, this one's broken. This one does not show video, but it does open the disk tray and stuff because I fixed it. But this one does not show video, but that one does. My new one does. It works perfectly fine. But that's why I'm reviewing my old one because uh, I don't want to unplug my new one and just, like, review that and then plug it back in later because that'd be, that'd be too much work. <laughs> you guys know me. Uh, but yeah. So, in the front, we got... Yes, it's kind of busted here because, like I said, eBay. Who the fuck cares? Uh, you got two USB ports right here. It's about the same thing as the Slim. You got two USB ports. And also, you got the port for the PlayStation Eye. This is something I don't get. Why did they remove the PlayStation Eye plug-in on the Slim? Why did they do that? I don't get that, but who knows? It, like I said, ventilation right here. You got two memory card ports right here. You got the controller ports. You got the move, you got the retractable CD drive. I do love this thing. Oh my god. Retractable CD drives are the best. I love that shit. Why didn't they keep that design? Why? Well, they do wear out over time. I know that, but still. It's still a good-ass design. You got power and reset button here. You got the eject button right here. This one shows blue. This one shows green. Uh, obviously, because it has blue and green on the logos. It says Sony on the side there. Like I said, 
This thing is nice. This thing works perfectly. And this one, this system does not scratch your CDs. This one doesn't do it at all. Unless if you turn it up like this and be an idiot and have it horizontal like this, why would you be an idiot and do that? Because people are actually complaining that their discs were being scratched. Well, of course they were being scratched because you were being an idiot and you had it horizontal like this. No offense to anybody that did that, but still. But, uh, yeah. And this one doesn't have the... If you guys didn't see, this one doesn't have the, uh... What is it? The connector for the stand? This one doesn't have that. This one actually... This one you would have to put the stand connectors side to side. You had to put them on both sides if you wanted to put up horizontally. Even though they have uh, rubber feet on here, but I don't get that. I, well, I guess it's to stabilize it, I guess, but yeah. But like I said, uh, I do like this version of the PS2. I think it's nice, but like I said, it's my opinion. If you guys like the Slim better, go ahead. I'm not judging you, but I don't like the Slim because it scratches your CDs like hell, and that thing heats up like a mojo. And, who knows, that thing could overheat sometime. It could overheat while you're playing, like, for hours. It could overheat. You never know. But, yeah, what I, I got a lot of things, good things to say about it. I do love the PS2 Fat System. It is amazing. It looks good. I also like this logo here. I like the aqua blue on the bottom and the dark blue on the top. That just looks really nice. I like that. I like that logo a lot. I wish they could have kept that logo on every single system that they made. Oh my god, imagine how awesome that would look. Whew, that would look nice. But yeah, you know, some things change, I guess. They even changed the PS the PS logo right here. They changed it from these colorful things, and they changed it to silver. Why would you change it to a boring silver? What are you thinking, Sony? What were you thinking? But yeah, um, so now... Here's the final product. I can't talk. Here's the final verdict. Oh yeah, by the way, like I said, it still uses the same AV. But like I said, this one doesn't need a power brick because it's actually built into the system. And all you would need, and all you actually need, is a... Uh, let me see if I can find it here. I have it here somewhere. I'm just going to pull it out. There we go. There we go. And all you'll need is one of these. That's it. And these things and these things are so skinny and so light, it's so much better to carry around than it is carrying around this big ass brick. Ugh. Nightmare. Cause now when I go downstairs and carry it downstairs when I want to, I don't have to worry about this damn brick. I don't have to worry about where rep carrying this heavy ass thing and dropping it because I did do that a few times I did actually drop that damn thing a few times it, it's horrible but this one it's easy and also this thing might be heavy it does have a pretty good weight to it but it's still a pretty good system I love it so here's my final verdict on both of these systems I give the slim I give the slim a rating I'd say a 3 out of 9. I give the Slim a 3 out of 9. Yes, it sucks that bad. The Fat PS2, I give it a rating... I'd say... A, I'd say an 8 out of 9. Because so far, I have no problems with it so far. I had none of my discs being scratched. No problems whatsoever with it so far. I love it. And also, it stays 100% cooler... If you think about it, it stays 100% cooler than the Slim. So, that's what I don't get, though. And also, the frame rate doesn't drop as bad as on this one does. This one drops frames like crazy. The Slim drops frames like so crazy. It goes down to like 30 FPS, I think. It doesn't stay at 60. But the fat, the, the fat though, the fat system actually stays at 60 frames per second. I have actually tested it. It does stay at 60 frames per second. I love that. And also, you have the fact, you have to have one of these to get online, but those things were cheap back in the day, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure these things were cheap. But the hard drives, I'm pretty sure the hard drives were not cheap at all. Ugh. Those things were probably a nightmare to get, but still. It's still a good system. I like it. 
You don't need these fancy gears or anything. All you just need is the system. That's it. But of course you do need a memory card and <laughs> if you want to save your files because this thing, <laughs> this thing don't save without memory cards. That's what you had to do back then. But all in all, it's a good system. I like it. It's a the fat. I recommend the one. Okay, here's my final, 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 final verdict. It's not a rating this time, but the one I recommend buying is the fat system. I recommend you guys buy the fat system because the fat model works flawlessly, no problems, and also it does not scratch your CDs. It does not scratch them whatsoever. And it stays 100% cool. And also you don't have to carry this thing around. And yeah, this is what I recommend buying guys. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this review. Like I said, other people might have opinions over it. Just don't hate on me on this. But I just prefer the fat because it's a lot better. And it actually looks, looks a lot more awesome. And I just I just love how they put the blue in here. Like look. They put blue they put black and blue together. That's actually a good color combo. That's really a good color combo. I like that. That's what makes this PS2 pop. I like it. It's good. But this this is just plain black. Like this is just all black. Like no blue, no nothing. It's kinda of plain. But yeah, guys, that's my full review on this. I I recommend getting the fat PS2. If you rec if you wanna if you wanna get the slim instead, go ahead, be my guest. I don't care. But I recommend getting the PS2 fat. It's definitely worth it. Definitely worth it, hands down. The best system model I've ever owned in my life. Best one. Hunt thumbs up on it. I give it a thumbs up. That's how good it is. But the PS2 slim, it gets a middle finger. I do not like you. You scratched my CDs. You ruined everything. Fuck you. So, hey guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give this video a like if you guys agree with me if you should get the PS2 Fat instead of the Slim. Uh, like I said, that's just my opinion. Uh, don't hate on me. Don't take this seriously. But, uh, yeah, it's just my opinion. It's just my review on it. Just don't go hating on me. But, yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you want more of these. And also, I will be making more videos later on. Please trust me. I've just been busy lately. It's just been so hard to keep up with videos. I am so sorry, guys. But I will make it up with you guys. I will make it up to you guys by uploading a gaming video tomorrow. I really promise you guys. But yeah, um, that's it. Uh, like I said, give it a like, subscribe. Uh, also, share it if you want to. Uh, let people know on uh, what they should buy or what PS. If they're looking for a PS2 and they don't know which one to buy or which model to buy, I just recommend getting the PS2 fat because you have a lesser chance of getting your disc scratched. And this is proof. This is proof right here. You have a lesser chance of getting that happening. So yeah, that's it guys. Hope to see you guys in the next video. And uh, yeah, peace out.